All right, so here we are, Cloud Echo and Edge Hunter battle. We're in round seven, and the board is really set up crazy. Look at all these cards. Um, and so I have currently Winston for Cloud Echo, who is a super special delivery card that when you place cards in here, they go all the way to my allies. And I also have Black Mirror right here, which puts purple cards in this row and send them to this row. The absolute perfect card came out, so we're gonna record it and show you how it works. Uh, so this is, um, it goes right to allies. It's the XO Peacekeeper for seven points. I'm gonna then move the 12, his 12 out. So that's already a 19 point move. Now with, with uh, minus one, I'm gonna send this five back to here. And with the minus two, I'm gonna send this back to here. Well, this hits my Winston, which is like a 10 point swing for like 29 points. This is a Black Mirror for like a 12 point swing, which is 41 points, and there's a draw card. So that is how you can combine a few different element, uh, you know, a lasting effect and then a legendary lasting effect, if you will, to create a real power move late in the game when you have so many cards to deal with. Here we are in round five. Yes. Round? Okay, and we have Two things, we have so much stuff happening that this is such an interesting combo that we wanted to record it. So last round, Paradox came out with the Overlord, which per makes us delay a faction play by one round. This round, Execution came out, and we kill a card for every draw card that comes out. So, i am got uh, two cards in my hand for my faction. I'm gonna go ahead and play the only faction card possible. I'm then gonna send this back to him. I'm gonna go ahead and bank your six. And I'm going to then, I guess I'll just take this one up here that draws a card for, for us. And for, for that negative. Uh, for the negative four. All right, so now we're gonna go into the faction play and I'm gonna make a sweet combo that everybody's gonna enjoy. So I'm gonna play a Waterborne card, which is not out yet, so these cards could change, but this is Null the Giant. He's allowing me to move four cards into his recruit row and kill four of the cards for each card exchange. So of course I'm gonna take this four, this one, I'll take this three. Um, I can't take the other three, and I'll take this Actually, four. Can. I can, but I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> so, because for my combo. So I'm gonna take these four cards, and I'm gonna kill the 10 and the nine. And the 12? Nope, no, it's, it has to be in that row. What the Based on this, yeah, for each card move, kill one. Oh, on that side of the board, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll kill the 12 instead of this nine, but I'm gonna kill these two blue cards, okay? Which is a six and a seven, all right? And do that. I'm then, after I'm done with that move, and before I play this, I'm going to reveal Soul Gatherer, in which I can then draw basically three cards from the afterlife that match cards on my side of the board. So the first thing I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna take for the four and the 10, these two cards, they're blue, now why would I do that? Because I have this other card called Toll Taker that's gonna add two cards to the board because it, a blue card entered that row. I'm also gonna go ahead and take the 12 that I just killed because I think that's the biggest card. I can only take three cards. Um, for what? Uh... Well, three, oh, sorry, you're right, I can't So do you that. can take the 10. I can take the 10. So I'll take the 10 because I have a gray card, my bad. So I've got that, so I was able to do that. I'm able to get two more cards into the row. I got an eight which gives me yet another card. So I'm working down the way. All right, now I can play this, which is gonna kill any card on the opposite side of the same color, eat one per turn, turn. I'm gonna add it to my green card, which is gonna kill his nine. And that right there is one hell of a move.